I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. I uh, had a lot of, nope, today is the 30th, August the 30th. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Uh, today is August the 30th and uh, this week I've had a lot of uh, fun things. Uh, number one, on Thursday I released a video on how to sharpen an auger bit. Um, and this isn't a, a this isn't something that a lot of people really want to know. Um, I've had several people asking about it, but it's just one of those things that you kind of look at and you wonder, you know, how do you sharpen it? And so I put up a video on sharpening a couple different types of auger bits and uh, different things about them. And then Saturday, um, I wasn't going to let my uh, my failure of making a uh, scraping plane um, sit, and so I had to make another one. So on one day, I made this one with a, I absolutely love the sole on this. It's a uh, curly white oak. Um, I did some stabilization with epoxy on it. Um, and very, very happy with this. It works very well. Um, and so I'm actually giving this away. So if you go and watch that video, um, at the end there's information on how you can win this. And uh, it's a kind of a, a cool and simple project and I will ship it to anyone in the world, uh, one person who uh, wins it. So I uh, hope you guys like that. Uh, for this next week, um, I've had a lot of people asking me about how do I go about my finish that I really like with boiled linseed oil and paste wax. Um, and so I'm going to be doing a, a little tutorial on that. Hopefully that will be coming out Thursday, uh, but I'm not exactly sure, but we'll see. Um, on Saturday, the video I have coming out for that is kind of a surprise. It is a gift for a friend, um, so that should be kind of interesting. Uh, this week, I'm actually going to be going up to uh, Matt Cremona's to help him out with his bandsaw. Um, and if you haven't seen his bandsaw project, you've got to go take a look at it. It is absolutely phenomenal. Um, he is building a bandsaw that is capable of sawing logs up to five feet in diameter. Um, huge and so I'm looking forward to giving him a hand helping him out on that project so yeah go check that out it is it's it's very cool <laughs> um, other things going on this week um, on Tuesday I was in an interview with Waylight Creations um, they do a lot of really interesting things some with epoxy and uh, uh, they just have an amazing artistic and uh, the problem solving mind, uh, really, really cool. But um, he did an interview with me and that was a lot of fun. It was a, a good time to, to sit down and talk. And uh, uh, if you wanna take a look at that, I'll leave a link to that over here too. So I've been talking back and forth with uh, TJ from TJ's Woodworking Shop, um, and he was looking at getting into hand tools and trying out a few things, so I'm actually going to be sending him uh, a few items uh, as a, uh, a present, hoping that he uh, uses them and tries them out. Um, so I just restored a uh, small block plane, um, sharp as it can be, and then I was recently given um, several uh, braces and uh, several bits um, to give out to uh, someone who wants to try them. So I'm going to be sending those out to him and uh, possibly one other thing that might be a surprise. So thanks TJ for your encouragement and I uh, hope you like him. Uh, if you want to see his channel, go ahead and check it out here. He does a lot of really sweet things over there. The other big thing going on in the shop this week is I am working on another bench. I'm actually building a bench for my kids. Uh, so it'll be about uh, two feet deep uh, by about 40 inches long and at their height. And this will be, um, it's kind of a, a fun build for me because I'm building it fully heavy duty. I mean, it'll be, the top will be about three and a half inches thick. Um, the skirt on the front will be eight inches. Um, it'll be a rubo style in that the legs come all the way flush with the front, um, but it'll be a, uh, a British style in that there will be a skirt for more tensioning. Um, and so this will be a, a very cool project that I am, I'm looking forward to. I'm doing it for the, uh, the Dusty Life um, bench build off. Um, and originally I was intending on making it a bench that I could pick up and set on my bench to raise it up for doing dovetails. Um, but I'm making it far heavier than that and it will probably end up being like around 150 pounds. And uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be picking it up and putting it on my bench. But uh, the kids will really enjoy it and I'm still trying to figure out what vice I want to put on it. Um, I'm thinking about doing the Izzy Swan uh, quick vice, uh, messing around with that. Uh, that might be good for uh, doing dovetails, but uh, we'll see. Uh, if you have a uh, suggestion on what I should do, I'd love to hear about it. The other big thing on my list is WIA. Woodworking in America is coming right around the corner. It's like, what, three weeks away? Um, and it's a, an absolutely fun time. Um, woodworking America, if you haven't been there, is kind of like the big convention for woodworking, um, especially for hand tools, because there's the Hand Tool Olympics there. Um, a lot of the v vendors are catering uh, specifically to 
the uh, the hobbyist woodworker and it's a it's a fun time to go and learn the project but it's also a great time to go and uh, meet people that you've seen on YouTube and other places um, a lot of other content creators will be there and it's a good chance to just say hi and, uh, and hang out so if you want to say hi to me I'll be there as well as well as uh, most everyone else in the community so hope to see you there lastly the one other thing I want to do is I want to start uh, talking about some of the channels that really um, either inspire me or I have found very interesting lately, um, particularly channels that haven't gotten a huge amount of subscribers yet, um, and just give them a shout out and uh, let you go and see them. They're channels that not a lot of people have found. Um, so today I have Clean Phil Wanted, and I really like the uh, <laughs> the uh, the name on it. He has a great idea, but he has a lot of really interesting and experimental ideas. He is mostly hand tools, um, and uh, does some really cool things. Um, his uh, his recent project with a cutting board with a, a plate you lift up was really kind of interesting. Um, he just has some really sweet ideas. So I definitely go check him out. I'll leave a link to him in the description. And uh, if you ever want to see someone with other uh, viewpoints on hand tools or projects, um, he'd be a great one to look at. So that's about it for this week. Um, I hope you uh, like this. There's a lot of other channels that we've been looking at recently and a lot of things going on. So the next few weeks will be very busy for me as I'm packing up and getting everything ready for WIA um, and uh, going all over the place. Um, so the uh, videos uh, will be kind of interesting coming up. I'm going to see if we can stay with the schedule. So <laughs> yeah, fun. Um, but I want to say a huge thank you to the patrons on Patreon. Um, I, wow. Um, it always just amazes me when another uh, person <laughs> joins the group. And uh, I love sharing ideas with you guys and kind of giving you a behind the scenes look at what uh, Wood by Right is all about. So uh, thank you for that. It is a huge encouragement to me. And if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. If you did like this video, feel free to check out one of my other videos. You might find something you like there. Also, if uh, you did enjoy it, please hit like and think about subscribing. Until next time, have a wonderful day.